What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my god, I'm shook. God, literally, I can't get a day off to save my life. I didn't think, I thought we were gonna have a nice, peaceful, calm evening in the drama community. In the drama community. But no, but no. Cause Laura Lee decided to post a video almost around midnight. Again, here we go. More drama. Laura Lee's bringing the drama, guys. So let's talk. We have to talk, cause you know I have my my opinions and my views. And you already know I have my little bag of receipts. Let me see here. Ah, here we go. Okay, Laura Lee posted a video. Okay, but before we get into that, I just want to say a big hello and thank you. Not sponsored to Intero Bang Bang. Love you so much. I was at DragCon and I ran into this really cool fashion designer and they make these, these collars. They make these little fashion collars. Check them out on their website. I'll leave the link down below. Not sponsored. I just love creative stuff. If you're watching this, you have a collar that has like this skeleton hand that's sold out. I love it so much. Anyways, I freaking, I die, I love. Anyways, definitely check them out, link down below. And they also have like matching berets and stuff, so like matching bows, it's, anyways, anyways. And you don't wanna miss out the new Paris Hilton swatches. I'm telling you, these look so freaking good, not sponsored. I just can't wait to show them to you at the end of the video. Okay, cause you know I love them so much. And I know I'm biased toward Paris Hilton, I love her so much, but I'm telling you, these are really, really good. I got like, I actually got like some PR in the mail from Sigma, Sigma Beauty, like the Sigma brushes. This F83 brush, totally different. Look, you see how it like dips down, like it bends? It's perfect for like that jawline contour. For me, that's how I see it. I mean, they have brushes for everything. Anyways, not sponsored either. When something's good, I gotta tell it to you. Okay, so anyways, here we go. So Laura Lee decided to post a video and the video is about her interviewing some homeless people and some people who work with the foundation, right? So, I have my views and my opinions, you know? I feel like it, it was a good video and I'm happy that she's using her platform for good and that she's doing something different, I understand it. There's two ways you can kind of see it, right? This is one of those, this is one of those like moments where if you did not like Laura Lee, this video kind of makes it hard to keep not liking her. You get what I'm saying? It's like one of those things that's kind of like, was it a stunt? You know how people are gonna say that. Was it publicity? She's doing this for views. She's coming out with this video now with her comeback. She really did pull at the heartstrings, right? I have saw some comments where people were furious about the video. And I've seen some comments where people were like really excited and happy that it was a positive video. My takeaway is two things. One, it was a positive video. It did kind of almost make me cry. But two, I can understand the frustration of some people. It was like, you're, um, you're tugging at us emotionally to make us love you again, right? I think people like her, they don't love her. I think they used to love her, then they like her. Like, it's just, it's just like so weird. Like, I feel like, it's one of those things where it's kind of like, I feel like I'm being played emotionally, but then I feel like, hold on, I see a dislike. But I feel like if I was to get on camera and say uh, that I feel like I'm, and say wholeheartedly, I feel like I'm being played emotionally, or like this was a tug at my heartstrings for views and to really, and to really, uh, to look at her in a different way. It's almost like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Like, I don't wanna like, say it and see and like i feel like if i keep talking it eventually will come out but i think you guys know what i'm talking about right because like here you have somebody who was like major like major controversial let us not forget what was it a month ago or something laura lee got the most attention she's ever gotten in her life due to like this, this scandal you know and and now she took some time off and she comes back and here it is, we get this homeless video of her out there in the homeless, you know? And I kind of feel like, it's like, what if I did something terrible and then I take some time off and then my video when I come back is me out there giving free food away to the homeless. Like, it kind of makes it kind of like, well, are you doing it because you really want to do it or are you doing it to, to pull at the heartstrings of the people who love you? Now, I feel bad. Like, I feel bad. Like, I feel like I'm not the one to like call it out but I kind of don't feel like, 
I don't know. Either she's a really good actress because I, I believed it. In her video, she seemed sincere. She seemed really nice about it. She uh, was really understanding and caring. And there was this one part where she was talking to the homeless man and she was just like so into what he was saying. Like her face and her demeanor, like she was like really into it, you know? Like, I don't know, like if, if it was fake, you know, she could have been like looking at him and being like, you know what I'm saying? But she was like, like really like into it, right? And then she interviewed this other person who I think worked with foundation. And like, it was just like, wow. And then hearing that guy's story, like how he had his, like, oh my God, I want to cry right now. <sighs> hearing the guy's story about his cat and how he lost the cat, like, it just like really like, I'm like, where's the cat? Can we find the cat? Like I, now I can't, like now I feel invested into it. But then, but then I'm like, getting angry because I'm like, well, am I, getting, am I getting invested in because am I being tricked into this, you know, puppetry? And I'm like, you know, you know what, what I really wanna know is I just feel like if this was done because she wanted to do this, I get it and I respect it. But if this is a PR stunt and I find out that this is some puppet stuff going on in the background and, and it's just making me feel invested over some puppetry, right? I would, I would really be upset about it. Like, really upset, you know? And I hope she's. this is not a PR stunt. I hope that this is true and real, and this wasn't some manager PR person saying, you know, if you want to win the people back, this is what you gotta do. Like, if it's that, I would be so upset, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know, because I just got through watching the film, and I'm talking to you guys, and it's going through my head, everything that was in the film, and now I'm getting emotional about it. It's like you're pulling at my heartstrings emotionally, but a part of me is like, this better not be fake. This better not be a stunt. Because if it is, I will be very, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. And I hope that I don't come across like, oh, I, uh, I hope I don't come across like being mean or being too like analytical or judgmental. But I think a lot, I think it's like, <sighs> I don't know. I really, I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep talking about it because then it'll just like make me angry. But I hope it's real, and I hope that like what I'm saying is like valid. You know, because I don't want to come on here and like be like a Laura Lee hater. But this video was like very interesting. Like the timing. It's it's. I rather. You know what? I'll tell you this. I rather see that what Laura Lee did than Manny's documentary. Manny's documentary is all about himself. The Laura Lee one, she's out there feeding the children and walking them in nature, honey. Like, it's it's a little different. Like, it's kind of like, uh, pick your poison. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather watch Laura Lee's video because it was like, well, at least it's helping somebody. And she did say that proceeds from the video go toward the found. Oh, sorry about that. Go toward the foundation. So it's like, okay, I like that. I wish she would have put, if she would have put a link I would have donated to the to the foundation, right? Because that's how like it really it really got me. It really hit like a a place for me, you know. So anyway, so then you got Manny Amway coming out with his documentary movie any minute now. Who knows when that's gonna drop? And I'm kind of like, well, uh, Laura Lee got the upper hand at this point, but it's just so funny. Now that I think about it, they both went away, and now they're both coming out with documentaries. I mean, it's like, I mean, granted, at least they're not, can you imagine if it was a documentary about Laura Lee, a documentary about Manny and Way? I mean, now I'm starting to think, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to like burst a bubble and go into that dark place. I don't. But anyways, to bring it, to end it on a happy note, I got, okay, you're, you're going to be shook, okay? I know y'all are like Paris Hilton, <laughs> no, 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 no. These Paris Hilton lippies, now a subscriber sent these to me, okay? And I have to show them to you. Because I swatched them and they were like amazing, okay? So this is the packaging. Now you know it's so hard to find Paris Hilton makeup. You just can't go into a like, Paris Hilton store and buy it. Not at Ulta, it's not at Sephora. You gotta go to Ross, Marshalls, or Burlington. And then if you're lucky, you'll find it, right? So this one's new. This is part of the new collection, but it goes straight to discount stores and it's good. Okay. So here we go. So this is the first one right here. Now these are lip glosses, okay? See that shiny pink right there? Okay, and then you have this red one. And they, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna persuade you, I just wanna show you. Okay, and then you have this really beautiful, beautiful like 
nude copper one right there. And then you have this one right here, which I believe, I think that might be the one I have on. I'm not sure, but yeah. And so there they are. All right, so there they are in your face. There you go. I think I have on either this one or this one. I'm not sure. But those were freaking amazing. I was freaking shook by the look. Okay, okay, seriously, leave your comments. I will be reading them, liking, I'll be in there. I wanna get your views and opinions on this Laura Lee video, see how you really feel, okay? Cause I don't, I don't wanna seem like, I hope I'm just like the only one sitting on this island here, but it really puts like a magnifying glass on her even more in a way. And hopefully it's for good intentions, right? So anyways. And yeah, so guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise and music down below. See you in the next one, bye.